Right, welcome to another DIY type of video. I have a rocker video, a uh, rocker and cab corner, I think, or maybe just the rocker video up on YouTube already on a later model Chevy truck. Uh, this is the, uh, let's see, 88 to 98 model Chevy, Chevy or GMC. This body style here process is the same pretty much for every vehicle but just to let you know that's what we're working with uh, i'm actually doing rockers and cab corners uh both sides so we're going to start with the uh, passenger side just because that's kind of the way that it's been pulled into the garage uh we're going to do a, a repaint on this truck make it look respectable for uh landscaping and, and whatnot i am going to be replacing this fender i believe and i may be taking the fender off to do this rocker depending on how far the rust in the rocker has gone up if it's not that far where i don't have to replace because this actually goes up behind the fender a little bit if it's not rusted in there i might just cut it off and not remove the fender i might re remove the fender as part of it not sure yet so for this video we're just going to be doing one side it'll be the cab corner and the rocker kind of doing them together the the rocker is actually under the cab corner so you kind of do the rocker first and then the cab corner goes on after that. So we are going to use as much of these panels as we need. We may be cutting them smaller. This is the replacement rocker panel, or sorry, cab corner. And this is the rocker panel. And this is the start of what we're, what we're working with. As far as rust goes, you can see that rocker's rotted right through there. Cab corner. Rotted right through. Okay, there's also going to be an inner structure in here that I'm hoping to be able to just wire wheel down. It might be a little bit rotted, but you're not going to see it. I like to get all the rust off of it that I can and treat it to prevent it from further rusting before we put the outer skin back on. And uh, once the job's all done, I end up coating the backside pretty much yearly that I have a vehicle, if not twice a year with uh, fluid film. I, I love to use that stuff. Um, but this truck is new to me. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't treated the frame. This is just kind of how I got it. It needs, you know, needs other attention. But this is the first thing now is we want to get this truck going for uh, for the landscaping season and, and looking presentable. We're going to do another, probably most likely another white paint job on it and uh, letter it up and whatnot. So this will be a how-to on replacing this and how I do it. Now there's a bunch of different theories and methods in doing it and you know this is not a uh you know a concourse and uh, you know restoration vehicle this is a work truck it is going to look good it is going to be done right it is going to last and that's that's what i'm worried about i want the the end result to not be noticed that it's been changed i don't want to have any seams or lines or anything like that that's noticeable and i want it to not i don't want the rust to come back in a year or two i want it to last you know multiple years is the plan so Depending on what you're working on, you may want to go deeper. You may do more than what I do. You may do less than what I do. Uh, but that's the situation, and I take each vehicle depending on, you know, what you want out of it or what you're trying to do to it. If you're just trying to do a quick flip and make it pretty, you know, you might do less. I, I personally, if you do that, I, I like to let people know exactly what was done, not try to hide stuff and cover it up like this guy did. Uh, maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't. Uh, you know, maybe this was done not just to sell it. I don't know. Um, but... You know, any trained eye can walk around a vehicle and tell that uh, something had been repaired in the past uh, unless it was done properly. Even then, it, you could still tell, but it's really hard to tell. So, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, go through the process and what I do. Um, on this situation, like I said, I, if I, I'm not sure if I remove the uh, fender or not. I am going to remove the door. You don't have to remove the door. You can work around it. Um, but because I'm doing a full repaint and everything on this truck, I'm going to go more into it. I'm not just replacing just the rocker. I'm going to be doing a lot of other work to it. Uh, it's just better for me to uh, get it right out of the way for right now uh, so I don't have to deal with it. Uh, the door is actually in decent shape, so we're going to set that aside, and that's just going to be put back on. Uh, I might even paint it separately and put it back on the truck that way. We don't know yet. Uh, probably not, but that's when we get to it. So, All right, the process of removing this door is pretty simple. What we want to do is remove this bottom sill. My bolts were rotted and rusted and crappy and this plastic panel was already cracked all the way down and busted in different pieces and somebody put uh, sheetrock screws in to hold it in. So we're going to have to address that at a later time. Uh, the kick sail panel here is in good shape so that we want to pop out. So 
We got this sill plate out. We got this panel out inside the hole right in here is the wiring for the door, which I've already disconnected. There's just a little plug on the end of it. And then you push the wiring through, just kind of push this little boot. Let me get a, get a light on for you there. There we go. Just uh, this boot right here just pops right out of the body uh, along with the, along with the, uh, the wire. So in this situation, this door has been taken off before because you see this little flap right here. There's usually a spring that goes in here to help keep the door open in the open position. And then this gives you a couple of different positions to, uh, as you're closing it, kind of hold the door open. This doesn't have it. So the door just kind of swings freely, uh, which a lot of times on older vehicles has been removed because it's really hard to get that spring back in. Uh, but this is one of them ones that it's removed in. So somebody has replaced these pins before and probably didn't bother putting the spring back in. That's what happened. So all we got to do is pop these two pins and the door will come right off. Just got a couple little clips on this one. Uh, and then there'll be, I don't even know if this clips, yeah, there's no clips on this one because gravity is just holding that pin down. So we just got to pop these two pins out, just like door pins in a house. You just uh, tap them, you know, tap them out of the holes and this whole door will just come right off. So. All right, now we got a much better look at what's going on here as far as rust goes. What I need to determine is if it's rotted inside here or if it's pretty much starting here because all the rust is on, gonna be on the back side of this panel. So we're gonna pull this off. I'm gonna pull this panel off and pull this off. And this is where the spot welds are going to be, where we're going to be separating this between the actual body and the, uh, the rocker. And we're going to be cutting somewhere here, just trying to cut out all the rust and somewhere in this area. So what we need to do is determine how far we need to go to get rid of as much of the rust as we can because we don't want it to come back. So uh, that's going to determine how much of the other panel we use. So this is uh, this fender is in some, some pretty bad shape, but it does look like the... This is pretty solid and rust free in here. Um, I have a little camera I might stick down this hole and look at the back side and see how far this rust starts. Yeah, I'm seeing rust pretty much right in the back side of this. So I'm gonna cut some of this panel out just to get a better view of what's in there, but I, I didn't wanna cut into here if I was gonna not have to replace there, but we'll, uh, we'll see how far back. I'm also going to look underneath. Maybe I can get a peek through one of the one of the holes under there. That shows right there how, how weak this fender is. And this is why it rots out. Look at the piles of muck and dirt in behind that panel. Just from the years of usage and not cleaning out. This stuff can be prevented with proper washing out of certain areas in your truck and preventive uh, sprays. But if you just let a truck go, which most people do because they figure they're going to get rid of it before, before it gets to this stage. And the mess begins.
All right, so we want to make sure we don't go past. We don't want to remove any of the truck's metal past where this panel's covering. So at this point, I'm just going to get a little bit of spray paint and I'm going to mark off a line here and here so I know not to cross that line as we're grinding and removing because it's easy to get carried away as you're cutting stuff and you end up going too far. And then before you know it, you got to put in a patch panel. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to stay at least an inch away from that mark. We don't want to get anywhere near there. So now at this point, I'm just going to start cutting out a couple of sections to get this thing out of here and uh, whatever it takes to get it out of the way. And then uh, it's going to fitment to put the new piece on. All right, so we cut both ends short. The bottom is pretty much gonna fall apart because it's connected to the lowest part of the structure where all the rust is. So we might have a little drilling and cutting to do down there to get it separated from the inner structure because I'm sure that's a little rusty too. Uh, but the top here where it's not rusty, you should be able to see the factory spot welds. Let's see, is that all the way up? There we go. If you look down, let's see there, 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 there. So we got to drill all these spots out. And that'll release the top part of this panel from the floor. And then we'll be able to peel this down and then we can work on the rest of it. And then after we get that out, we just got to trim up exactly where we need to be to match up with the other panel and fit it. Cool and very exotic looking. Now, obviously, it doesn't quite have the drama of a Ferrari or a It has kind of this low, wide, flat look that you associate with exotic Italian sports cars and supercars. Frankly, it's not quite the same. But it's not the All right, now you saw what we could see from the bottom. You could tell that it was rotted out in what seemed like a couple of areas, okay? But this is what's really going on inside the rocker that you don't see, okay? 
So some people that don't know any better, including myself, when I started mechanics and auto body and all this stuff back in the day, would see the hole out here and try to sand it and remove all the rust that I could see and Bondo or sheet metal over it or whatever and paint it. And just to find out literally a month later, you start getting rust coming back around the edges and around the paint and all that stuff. Well, that's because this whole panel rusted from the inside out. So by the time it gets to the outside, pretty good chance that this whole entire panel is gone. So if you see any visible rust on a rocker panel, it's pretty much means that it's it's rotted through so needs to be replaced but here we are here this is the actual structure of the cab that's good solid metal right all in good shape that we're going to be reattaching the new rocker right to right up to here so and you can see it's all good metal in here so it may have looked like it was a basket case but and then you see these two plugs those from the other side underneath you can remove these plugs and that's where we can spray inside these rockers to prevent this from happening in the future because this is one of the number one things that happens on trucks nowadays if you have a new truck or a truck that comes from the south that doesn't have this issue yet and you're anywhere around where you're worried about rust and salt and stuff like that get in there and wash these out make sure there's not any dirt in it let them dry and then use like a fluid film or some type of really good thick oil inside of them to uh, slow down or prevent or stop any of rust that's going on. So we're gonna continue re removing this panel off and then we'll uh, start doing some of the measuring for fitting. In 2004 was $95,000 or roughly a <laughs> <laughs> than their original asking price. That list is relevant because the Phaeton has fallen a long way since it was originally sold in the U.S. from 2004 to 2006. Now All right, now you can see I just cut that bottom of the rocker off, but there's still this outer skin of the rocker on here. And this is connected to this structure, just like it was in the top, it's spot welded. And you can see little spot welds here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at one end, try to find them the best I can. It helps sometimes. Once you get it started, you can bend that metal down to where it stops, and then you know where the next one is. Once you get to a certain point, you could just use a saw or a grinder and just chop them as you go. And we want to get this strip of metal off here so we have the metal left that we're going to treat and get all the rust out of, and that's going to be our new surface for the, for the bottom and the top of the new rocker so it's solid. can see, like I said, it depends on the condition and how hard. That's the hole that ripped out from the uh, factory spot weld. So there is some rust up on the bottom of this panel that we're gonna have to address because you need somewhat of a solid lip to be able to connect the bottom of the rocker to. I will not be replacing this. If you were doing a full restoration, you would wanna probably because it has some rust on it. I'm gonna prevent the rust from forming any farther than where it is, clean it all out the best I can and uh, It'll, by the time that that rust spreads through this into the new body panel that's already protected out to the new paint job we're talking many years down the line and this truck you know we're, we're talking like a four-year plan here we're not talking about a 20-year plan so
See, so there's a spot weld right there. I think it's time to change that blade. Instead of a grinding disc, I'm going to give this puppy a shot. All right, the remainder of this is pretty solid here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to cutting the bottom of the uh, spot welds out. All right, so we want to try to get any remaining pieces of metal off, like this little tab of it right here, a little bit of it right here. You can see we kind of got some rot. So I'm gonna hammer it straight. Okay, so this inner panel, it's got some rot here. So we're not going to be able to really affix it tight there, but we do have enough good metal once we grind this down and clean it up to be able to affix the bottom of this rocker so it will still be solid in the end. So we just want to get this stuff removed, get the panel loose fitted for now, and then we'll uh, worry about dressing all the edges where it's going to be welded back in. We still got to remove the remainder of the cab corner. Got to get this piece off. And uh, a little bit more in the front there, get it trimmed up. Yeah, the reason I just cut that small section off like that is I wanted to see on the back side of this and see how far the rust has gone up. So we got all good metal here, good metal here all the way around on the top. 
nice and smooth on the inside so we don't need to cut up any more than we need to if we we don't want to go past that yellow line because that's about where the uh, cover panel is going to go so now we're pretty much we know that uh, we're, we're going to get rid of all the rust on this part of the, the panel so all we got to do is remove this whole lower section out of the way to open that up and then we can start uh, final fitting Just watch start to finish i think i've been here for maybe an hour and a half tops all we got to do is do a final cut on the original body right where that seam is where it meets this here it may look like i cut too high but remember we're replacing this uh, cab corner and when we replace this after we drop it on the ground this ends up going over this whole whole panel like that so we could go all the way up to here on that panel but we're not gonna we're gonna stop somewhere on the seam right here and cut it off and replace that so there's your trial fit and there you go no rust rust is gone all solid new metal that's all there is to it course we have to attach it we want to drill some holes in here because we're going to spot weld back to the body underneath we're going to drill some holes spot weld we got to grind a lot of this paint off where we're going to weld we got a seam weld here and here so a lot of welding involved uh, there's other ways you can do it you could cut this pretty much like I just did cutting all the rust out and um, you could do a couple of things. You can actually flange this existing metal where you, I have actually a, a flanging tool that you could, it's uh, air powered and it will create like a step down flange. You cut it a little bit longer and you step it down and it gives it a backing for this to go up to. And I've used uh, adhesive. They have like body panel adhesive um, that I've actually glued and stuck these panels back in. Uh, you, can, you can rivet and screw or you can screw them down and then grind off the heads of the screws and just do a thin layer of body filler over it you don't necessarily have to weld it welding is the best way to go but if you're doing it at home there's other options you can do to affix this panel back on nothing crazy for tools i mean the tools that you have as far as taking it off were all basic tools you know a drill uh you know saw you could use a sawzall you could use hammer punch you see i used a variety of all different tools just to see how they worked um, the reason i didn't use uh, the air chisel you saw me do a little section at the end that went really quick uh, I did it on that section because it was a really strong part of the body uh, this if you aren't careful with it will bend the structure behind it so in the process of you trying to cut that that piece of metal off the inner structure you'll bend the inner structure and then you lose the shape and then you won't have anything uh, to, to to adhere it to afterwards so that's why I tried different tools trying to do it is is with the, the minimal amount of damage as possible with each tool uh, you know and up to what what's the the worst that you might need so but that's the trial fit I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make a line and a mark uh, so I know where to cut for my final cut and then we're gonna do a final fitment we really want to get that rocker so it's really sitting up there perfect and then we're gonna grind and clean all the edges where all the welds gonna go and uh, treat all that rust on the inner inner panel just gonna wire wheel it clean it let, I want to let it dry off overnight because it's soaked in there and I'm going to use a, uh, a rust converter on all that stuff. And then in the end, after it all gets painted and everything, we're going to spray, like I said, on the inside with a uh, fluid film or whatever just to coat the backside so to prevent any rust in the future. So, But there we go. An hour and a half. We've got to this stage. Uh, you know, the fender is a bolt-on deal. I'm sure you guys have changed a fender before. There's nothing fancy there, no welding. It's just a matter of bolts. That's why I just ripped that piece off for now just to get it out of the way. And uh, that was including taking the door off and everything. So 
not bad all right guys that's going to do it for this video i'm going to probably within the next week i'll have a follow-up video where we'll go to the next step and probably get that uh all set and everything i just explained and welded in and then we're just going to give it a primer to stop it from rusting for the time being and then we'll get going on the other side i'm not going to video the other side obviously there's just no sense in showing you the same process so all right thanks for watching guys hope you learned something have a good one